camping, fishing, hunting, this is a valuable, valuable tool. Good morning and welcome back. I'm not sure this video is going to be very long, but we got to head over to Farmer Paul's. Uh, he's painting and fixing some machinery that he's got there. In our terms, he's putting lipstick on a pig. So let's head over and see what's going on the farm. Let's go see what Farmer Paul's working on today. A bunch of discs. Hi, Larry Johnson. This thing's looking brand new. I'm getting ready to apply some lipstick on a pig. <laughs> lipstick on a pig. Why are you looking? It's alright. Things looking clean. It's a, it's a disaster, but... Let's stick on a page. Take them all down, wire wheel every one of them, and then apply the lipstick to the peg part. Right down to the numbers. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it sat in water for a week too, so. Oh, when the flood was there? Yeah. Oh, that's the one that was sitting in the field. Well, I think there was five bearings out of, what is it, one, two? I don't know, there's like 24 bearings, and I think it was six of them were pooped. Huh. So I wire wheeled, I wire wheeled the whole thing. I washed it with the pressure washer, then I hit it with oven cleaner. And you let the oven cleaner sit, it takes the rust off and some of the paint. And then and then rinse it again. Nice. Oh, here we go. Hello. Looks good. Hi, how you doing? Okay. Good news, bad news? <laughs> okay, this is one that sat in that flooded field I had in the video a while ago. Nope. Didn't mess up okay. the hydraulics on it, which was good. Looks like that thing's going to get a new set of discs, too. Whoever said farming was cheap, it's not. Just as I come into the shop to show you what's going on in here. Whoops, sorry. The air compressor starts. Look at that. All that stuff looks brand new. But, like he said, you heard him say, he wire wheeled everything, oven cleaner. Clean it up, put it back together. Now, we've got a flood a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. I, think, I had a video out about it. I think I showed you some of the fields, his fields, that were under three, four feet of water. This piece of machinery sat in the field attached to the tractor because it couldn't get to the tractor to get everything out. Never ends. There's always something to rebuild, to paint, to fix, and you want to be a farmer. Well, as you can see, he's not afraid of doing some work. He's got a lot of work ahead of him, and he's got a lot of work already done. We're going to head back home. Uh, we got to go through our garden and see what's ready. Uh, Jen is not feeling well. She had surgery yesterday, so it's going to be up to me to go through the garden and pick out what's ready to pick. If I mess it up, well, this might be my last video. Well, not a whole lot to pull out of the garden today. we got one cucumber, another three or four more. They're just not ready for picking, but we got... Small cherry tomato. I showed you this plant the other day. As uh, Charlie Brown's that looks, it's still giving us tomatoes. 
and uh, pepper plants are still coming in as you can see there. We'll look at the other ones. I showed you them the other day. Those are just about ready for picking. So we've got these going here. A tomato where? Okay. See some of the plants starting to die off yeah. right there. Well, the dog's too, yeah. Yeah, for pepper. Look at all the peppers still coming. Still, the one in the back, I, don't, I can't tell, I can't judge if the one in the back is big enough or not. So these are our pepper seeds we harvested, right? Yes. Look at it, just keeps bringing them. This one way. Get you around here. Right back there, I'm gonna grab that pepper. Listen to this. Ready? Oh yes. And yeah, we pull them under this color. I'm ripen them in the window. All right, here's our broccoli. She wants to keep that one growing. We're gonna pick that one. Yeah. Even smells like broccoli. If you've been around our channel for any length of time, you'll know I don't do, don't normally do product endorsements. The easiest way to get out of a product endorsement request is to reply saying that if, if you're not afraid of an honest review, send your product. I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably nine times out of ten, they don't respond and they don't send their product. However, I did get a, an email from the Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. This happens to be a 20 volt four inch chainsaw. Now I'm in the market for a chainsaw. I need a new one. The other one decided it just didn't want to work anymore. It had enough and uh, it didn't want to be repaired. So now I am without a chainsaw. I got this little fella here. Let's see what's in the box. In the box we have the battery charger. We have the actual chainsaw itself. Looks like we have a battery. Have some lubricant. And a small screwdriver probably to adjust the tension on the chain. As is this wrench here. Look at that. So this thing feels pretty heavy duty. It's not cheap. See, it's got a guard over the four inch cutting bar. And it takes this 20 volt battery. <laughs> 780 RPM on a four inch blade. But does it cut? Like I said before, I'll only review a product if I would actually use a product. You want to send me some bobbleheads or something like that to review? I got no use for a bobblehead. I got one of my own, so don't need it. But if this turns out to be quality, I got a use for this. Let's go cut some wood. So if you happen to be needing a pruning or small branch trimming or something like that around, the property then this might be what you're looking for I got a branch out here on my maple tree that needs to come off so you see here this is approximately two inches in diameter let's see what happens uh, that's not bad actually pretty good I was not expecting it to be that quick 
What else do we have? So this one up here is about one inch. Let's see. One thing I will point out is the safety feature. Let me pull the trigger, nothing's happening. The black button there, where my thumb is, has to be pushed. You push that. That's a good idea. Let's see what else we can get into cutting here. That's pretty good. Not a whole lot else I can reach from the ground. This thing, that's impressive. That is impressive. Let's get you off of here. Now those branches I just did out front got maybe about an inch and a half thick. Well, we got thicker. Look at that. So this little battery powered saw just cut that. That's about a three inch across. I'm, I'm kind of impressed, I gotta say. Lots of power in this little thing. If you go on there, I'll leave a link to their website down below. I believe, I'm not sure at the time you're watching this video, but I believe they are running a sale on these right now. And they also do make a six inch version. But this 20 volt battery is plenty powerful enough. So would I endorse this Saker 4 inch chainsaw? Absolutely. I'm, I'm impressed. Still need a big chainsaw, gas powered, noise maker, but this little guy right here, that's impressive. Let's try even bigger. So this shows the confidence that Saker had in their chainsaw when they sent it to me because like I said I replied in the email unless you're willing to accept an honest review don't send it to me. A few minutes later I got an email back say what's your address I'll be in the mail and here it is. This is fantastic. Like I said this is going camping. It's going to trim some trees small branches around our house. That's a three inch branch right there that just cut through like it was nothing. All on a 20 volt battery. Go to their website. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, all the prices are there. And if the sale is still on, it'll be there. Um, but I'm not giving any special codes for discounts. However, in full disclosure, I was given this small chainsaw to review. You guys got yourself a winner. Saker Mini Electric Chainsaw. Can you imagine what the 6 inch version does? I'll have to check and see if they make one bigger than a 6. Thank you.